Hi again. So this is the learning assessment problem 7.6 in which we have to consider this subject which is e, uh, figure E 7.6 and we have to find the expression for the output voltage V naught of P for time greater than zero. Okay. So again we are going to follow the same practice which we have followed for our previous examples. So first of all we have to consider the time less than zero and for this we have to see that what will be the shape of the circuit light okay so for this as the switch here is now in this closed position and the available inductor here will be in the steady state so it will behave as a short circuit and the circuit whatever we will have will be like this is the resistor the switch is now in the short circuit condition here Similarly, the resistor here, the voltage source here, okay. And this inductor is now the closed circuit, short circuit. And the output voltage here, plus minus V naught of P. This is the 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm plus minus 12 minus plus 4 okay. So what we have to do, we have to find the voltage which is now developed across these nodes. So let me call it V0 and let me use this as the reference node here. So let me use these colors here for the node and when I will consider this one as a reference node, so it will be here 0 ok. So now here we have 3 currents which are flowing through this circuit. The first current is this one, this is I1. The second current here is this green one, this is I2. And the third one here is this I2 ok. So now according to the KCL here, what will happen? The I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. Now, writing the expressions for I1, what will we have? We will have V0 minus 12 divided by 2 plus what is the value of I2? So, I2 is V0 plus 4 divided by 2. So, V0 plus 4 divided by 2 and similarly, this one here, the I3, so that is V0 v naught divided by 2 and that is equal to 0 ok so now this these are basically the expressions which we have these are ex, our expressions and now in order to simplify them what will happen so simplifying them multiplying both sides by this 2 what will we get and then adding these v naught terms we will get 3 v naught and similarly minus 12 and this plus 4 and as I will get here minus 8 and that is equal to 0 and similarly this V naught is 8 by 3 ok and this V naught is basically the V naught of P which the value of which is now 8 by 3 volt for time less than 0 ok similarly this will also be used for the initial condition so this is the expression for t less than 0 and for t equal to 0 as the as at the instance of the transient this voltage will retain its value so therefore the naught of 0 will also be the 8.8 .8 by 3 volts okay so that is the same value here so now for the other instance when t is greater than 0 what will happen the circuit which we have is now again here and here when this uh, switch will be in open condition all of this branch will be neglected here and the circuit we have will be like this resistor the voltage here ok the inductor here 
and this resistor here this is our circuit here plus minus v naught of t this is 2 ohm 2 henry 2 ohm and this is now plus minus 12 volt so now this one is basically a very uh, easy circuit and here let me consider the current and that current is basically this I of T and considering this current here and then applying the KVL here in this bra in this loop what will have happen here so applying KVL here I am writing the simplified expression here as these two resistors are in series this inductor is also in series and this is the voltage rise here so writing their value here this is basically let me call as the VL of T which is the voltage across this inductor so 12 minus VL of T and minus 4 I of T this is equal to 0 or the value of VL of T plus 4 I of T this is equal to 12 ok uh, similarly here we can very easily see that the value of this inductance is this 2 Henry so writing it here the value so L DIA DI of T divided by DT this will be T I of T divided by DT where this 2 is for the inductor which is used here because L is equal to 2 so that's why I am using this expression similarly 4 I of T equal to 12 now dividing both sides by this 2 what will I get I will get the expression for the differential equation here like 2 i of t equal to 6 so now let me call it equation a and this is basically the first order non-homogeneous differential equation now what we have to do we have to solve it for the value of i of t okay and uh, the value for solving it for uh, solving it for the value of i of t we have to find the values which are related to this differential equation. So now here let me go down here and we can very easily see that the value of V naught of T what we aim to find out here is basically 2 I of T because this is the same value which is across this resistor or we can see here that this V naught of T is across this 2 ohm resistor that's why the current which is flowing through this loop will be multiplied with the resistance here and I will get the value of P naught of T. So therefore I have written it in the form of this expression here and I am calling it expression B. So now uh, the value of I of T is basically if I want to solve it the value of I of T is the K1 plus k2 exponential of minus t over tau okay similarly i have this equation here and here the value of tau is basically 1 over 2 so writing it here what will i get i will get the value of i of t is equal to the k1 plus k2 exponential of minus 2t okay so uh, you can ask me that how this tau is equal to 1 by 2. So I have explained it already in my previous video that the value of tau, the value of the time constant is always equal to the coefficient of the term which is basically the non-derivative term in our non-homogeneous first order differential equation. So that's why I have written it like this uh, which I have already mentioned in my previous lecture. Okay. So now uh, here to find the value of k of 1 let me write i of t equal to k of 1 ok and now putting this value into my equation a what will i get i will get here 0 plus 2 k 1 equal to 6 or the value of k 1 will be equal to 3 this is now 
12 k1 putting it here in this equation what will i get i will get i of t is equal to t3 plus k2 exponential of minus 2t okay uh, so that is basically the equation which i have here now uh, this is the ex uh, expression and let me call it expression c but now uh, as we know that the value of v naught of t which is the desired value what we have to find out this equation this the value of v naught of t is the 2 multiplied by i of t but we have i of t now so now in order to find the value of v naught of t i know it is equal to the 2 multiplied by i of t okay so now v naught of t is equal to the 6 plus 2k2 exponential of minus 2t. Okay, so that is the expression in which I have to find out the value of k2. Okay, so uh, now I have this expression, and in this expression, in order to find the value of k2, what we have to do? We have to put t equal to zero here. Okay, so now when I will put t equal to zero, I will get v naught of 0 and 6 plus 2k2 here. Okay. Uh, similarly, I can very easily see that the value of v naught of 0 is equal to the 2, 3 plus k2 here. Okay. So, uh, let me call it question D. Now, putting the value of v naught of 0 which I have I have already found out. So the value of it is basically the 8 by 3. So 8 by 3 is equal to the 2, 3 plus k2. Now dividing both sides by 2, what I will get? I will get 4 by 3 equal to the 3 plus k2. Or solving it, I will get the value of k2. As minus 5 by 3. So that is the value of k2. Now taking it and putting it here, I will get, I will get here value of v naught of t is equal to the 6 plus 2 multiplied by minus 5 over 3 exponential of minus 2t for time greater than 0 or simplifying it what I will get I will get 6 minus 10 by 3 exponential of minus 2t for time greater than 0 so these are basically my expressions which I had to find out in my question. Okay, So, uh, this is basically the expression which I have to find out in my equation or in my question here and uh, in this circuit I have found out all the desired quantities which I had to find here. So, I think uh, it is clear now that how to solve these type of circuits and questions and uh, with some more questions, I will see you next time. Thank you so much and take care of you.